Well, now we have a book model and it's time to create our first book. First, let's import book model from its folder. For creating and saving a new book, we need a new HTTP route with type of post. Post method usually is used to create a new resource. Then, let's use Express app and create app.post. The first parameter is route, so I use a slash books. The second parameter is a callback function. This function receives request and response and handle them. Because working with Mongoose is an asynchronous process, we can use async keyword for our callback function. I also use a try catch block for handling success and failure. In catch block, I simply receive the error. Then I log that error to the server console. Then I return a response with a status of 500 and I send an object with error message. In try block, first let's have a quick validation for our input which comes from request.body. So I check all of required fields to be in request.body and if they are not, I return a response with a status of 400 and I send a message for client. Then let's create a variable for new book and use our request body for title, author and publisher. Then let's call book.create and send this new book to it and save the result to a book variable. And finally, I return a status code of 201 and send the book to the client. Now let's start project with npm run dev and test it. For testing a post method, we cannot use browser, so I use Postman. It is a good tool for working with web APIs. To create a new book with Postman, let's open a new request. First, choose HTTP method which is post, then paste your URL here. My URL is a slash book, so it would be HTTP localhost your port a slash books. Then we need to send the body to our road. Let's choose raw here and here choose JSON and then send your data as a JSON to our server. I use some test data and then I click send button. Well, we have an error because the body is not recognizing our server. So let's go back to the index.js again and add a middleware for parsing our request body. We can use express.json and it will allow the express to use JSON body. Now let's go back to postman and test again. I send my data again and this time you can see that book is created and I have the status of 201 and the created book. Also in this book you can see that I have underline ID and timestamps.